Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifty Mama Scraps. Today I decided to do a process video and in the beginning of my process video I'm going to show you a homemade page kit that I put together um, from my stash. Um, some of these things are old, most are old. There's a cute few pieces that are new in my stash. So, um, this is just a scrap of paper. I am kind of of the club that I try to put together page kits from old page kits that I had previously put together. So, basically, I want my goal is to use everything up. So, this is just a random piece of snowflake paper. I don't even know who makes it. This is an old club scrap piece. I don't think there's anything on the back of it. This is from a paper pad. And basically, this has a squirrel on it on the back. Um, basically, I just randomly keep my pages or my paper in a in kind of a vertical file that I have behind me and then I just grab a bunch of papers and I try to I usually put several kits together at one time um, I will sort out the photo or the paper that sort of goes together um, into different kits and when I make the kits I usually have a huge stack of paper and then I just kind of like sort of in, okay, this goes with this and this kind of goes with this. So that that's kind of how I get started in making homemade page kits. Now this is brand new. It's uh, Maggie Holmes Flourish Collection. It just came in um, February Hip Kits. Um, if you recall, this is the back of it. And I already started this layout, to be totally honest. I started it just about an hour ago um, my kids wanted to watch the emoji movie on Netflix and so I got started on um, got started making this layout and then I stopped to watch the emoji movie and now I'm back I was uploading an older movie uh, or I was uploading my my last video um so i couldn't start filming um when i had started the layout that i'm about to show you so that's why there's a couple pieces cut out of this because i um that's what i did i had used it on on this layout that i'm i just got started on okay this um is an old piece of paper and it is by me and my big ideas and as you can see there are holes in this too and i use this on my layout as well and this is a piece of club scrap paper and i use this on the layout too um this is just a piece of green cardstock this is a dot paper that's kind of got pinks and burgundies and and greens in it this kit particular kit has a lot of purple pinks um, burgundy is that type of color scheme some yellow um, some of this um, kind of light teal or mint blue in it so that's kind of what I did and when I got my hip kit last week what I ended up doing is after I filmed my hip kit um, um, unboxing video what I did was I I had already done a bunch of these kits and put them in um, two gallon baggies is I like to put one brand new um, paper in with the kit so what I did is I separated all the paper from hip kits and I put one paper in each new kit or each of the old kits that I created and so that piece of paper that I just showed you um, the Maggie Holmes paper that I added to this kit because it went the best with this color scheme out of all of them um, this also came out of um, a um, 
paper pad that I got at Tuesday Tuesday morning, probably a year ago. I don't even know what the name of the the collection was. This came from the same paper pad. It's got like glittery. It's kind of a springy type paper. There's something on there. Oh, that ripped. Didn't know that. Huh. I'll have to figure that how I'm gonna work that into a layout. Um, here's some purple cardstock. This is I got it at a thrift store. I got an entire well, actually two pads of scrapbook paper and I don't even know the company. I don't think it's going to say in it, but it's double sided. They were brand new paper pads. I got them at a thrift store for a dollar a pad and there was probably, I mean, it was a pretty thick pad and they were together and I paid like a dollar pad. It was crazy. It was a crazy amount of money. And I thought, even though this paper collection I'm sure is really old, it's still really pretty. I love the daisies. Daisies are my favorite flower. And here's a kind of a purpley lace paper. And here we're going to get into some darker burgundies. The, those were mostly my lighter colored papers. Um, but as you can see, this darker paper of the old collection still goes with this. And so that's why I I put the burgundy in with this. And these this is Christmas paper, actually. This is from a Creative Memories um, thing that I got. I think this is Creative Memories, too. Um, this, it says Merry Christmas, is not... It is me and my big ideas. It's old. This is from that same Creative Memories collection, which is several years old. This is just, um, oh no, this does have a pattern on it. This is Club Scrap. It's really old. It's got old time cars and airplanes and ships on it, but it's thick cardstock. This is just a tan cardstock. This is also from Club Scrap when I used to be a part of theirs. This is, it's really thick cardstock, but it almost feels rubbery. It's really a weird texture. In fact, I'm not even sure I really like the feel of the, of the texture. It's kind of a, it's kind of a weird texture, but it's burgundy and I want to use it up. And then I have some white sheets. I think one, two, three. Four, five white white pieces of cardstock um, that I can do different things like if I want to paint on it or if I want to use gesso on it I just stuck those in there this is a very old piece called strawberry sticks and it's from KMA keeping memories alive which does not exist anymore scrapbooks.com it's double-sided um, Peachy Keen collection. So that's quite old. I think this is the same collection, Peachy Keen collection, scrapbooks.com, keeping memories alive. And I don't believe there's a year on it. No, this is Dazzling, Dazzling Dish on this side. Yeah. That's the name of the collection of Dazzling Dish. This came out of a huge paper pad years ago that I had. I don't remember who made that. Um, this is really old. It just says Baby Boy. I had a whole bunch of these. I got at a thrift store. And I tend to cut those apart. This is also me and my big ideas. Really old cardstock. This came from a paper pad. It's just a beige and white stripe. Not sure who made that collection. Here's an animal print, and I know for sure that that is Creative Memories. And this, I'm not sure where this came from, to be totally honest. This is red cardstock. This is close to my heart. This is, I'm pretty sure it's Creative Memories out of that Christmas collection. 
and here's another one of those um, pages that has a bunch of words on it. And this is close to my heart. Okay. So before I get into my layout, um, I want to show you the embellishments that I chose. I kind of bagged up embellishments that were of light color from my stash. And some of these pieces are like really old, like really, really old. So the two bags that I chose, because I do sort by color when I'm putting kits together, is like purpley pink and then more of a brownish, um, burgundy, grayish, tannish, black animal print colors. So these are just random glitter stickers that really I don't have anything that matches them. Hopefully I can use them, just mix them with other stickers. This is just a piece of a bag that I cut off. I know for sure that this is um, Felicity Jane a while back. This, I don't know where it came from. This is a cut apart from some place. It's purple on one side, peach on another. This is from, I don't know. It's another cut apart. This is a giant sticker that came off of um, Scrapbooks for Less. It was on a giant sticker page. I have no idea how I'm going to use this. A lot of times when they're this big, I may just use the head. Or I may punch, like, I don't know. A lot of times I don't use a great big sticker. Because it's quite large. Here's a little star. Another cut apart. This, I'm not sure where it came from. It's just destination over and over again. And it's just a card. Here's the little go sticker, a little scrap piece of paper, a little t-shirt that says love me sticker, little happy holidays tag. Um, this came off of an Easter collection. They're just little triangles. Um, this came out of a, an old scrapbook that I got at a thrift store that had pages in it and I took it apart. This is a Creative Memories border thing. More scrap paper. This I made, I stamped and then I used a glitter pen um, to fill it in. Well, it was a glue pen and then glitter on top of it. That's a cut apart. Here's an egg, an Easter egg sticker. Um, a macaron metal sticker. Another Easter egg sticker. Um, this I think came off of a Halloween set, but it's just a scrap. This is a sticker that I'm pretty sure is Creative Memories from a long time ago. This is actually, when when I get embellishments in the mail, like kit clubs or whatever, um, and it'll show, you know, you know, the piece, the branding, branding piece that tells what company it's from or whatever. I always use those. I just cut them apart. They're still cardstock. So I just cut that apart, cut the, cut the name of the company off. I don't know where that came from, but I think it came from maybe that panda sticker um, sheet. I think that came from the panda sticker sheet as well. More scraps. These I think are creative memories. I'm not for sure. I think that came from the panda strap. This I have no idea if I'm going to use it or not. I should probably give it to my kids. But it was purple, and so I stuck it in here. It was in my stash. This is a little enamel dot type sticker. Left over from something. Scrap. Pretty sure that's Creative Memories. Pretty sure that's Creative Memories. This is just um, 
I think this was off of that scrapbook that had the pages in it that I took apart. This is just a little notepad. Looks like there's only one note on it. and It's just a decorative little t-shirt. More scrap paper, more scrap paper. And some more scraps. There's lots of scrap paper. Here's a woody sticker. Here's a little sticker that says my heart belongs to. And here's another one of those metal stickers, which is the dog. And this is a sticker that says, oh, honestly. And some more border scraps. Um, here's some wine glasses, looks like. That actually might work for the page that I'm working on. Little wine glasses with the heart sticker. So I'm gonna set that aside because I think that I can use that somehow. There's another thing. Another oh that destination I think is paper. And I think that came from Club Scrap actually. I thought it was a cut apart. And more cardstock, which I'm pretty sure this cardstock is Club Scrap too, because it's super thick. I, they have the thickest cardstock of any place that I've ever ever purchased cardstock from. This is a little heart that says hugs. That may, uh, I don't know, because I don't think that I have purple. Um, here is a tag that I made. Um, it was basically just a printout, and then I took, um, I took liquid glass and went over the top to make it shiny. And it says the hands are the instrument of man's intelligence from Maria Montessori and then it says create and then some more paper scraps and then this is a border that I know for a fact is from creative memories okay so that's the purple bag of embellishments and so far I've only really found one thing that many oh here's a megaphone as well And I don't know where that came from either. Okay, so here's the brown bag. So far, I've only found one thing that I think I'm going to use on my page. So, I don't know. If I find that I can't find anything else to use on that page, I may have to dig into my new stuff. This I might be able to use. It's just a little white tag. And this is from Felicity Jane, so... I'll probably be able to use that on the page. This is just brown cardstock stop. This is a suitcase from Magical Memories. And it's just a chipboard suitcase. And I have no idea how old that is. That's really old. Um, here's a graduation flare button. And this is a page from Jelly Bean Soup. And as you can see, I've used like all the stickers on here. But one thing I like to do is I like to cut around it and use the silhouette and then stick it on another page. And then that kind of um, helps my stickers go further. Um, just because I really like this cursive. And I might be able to use that on the page that I'm working on actually right now. Um, Here's a giant number one, and this came out of, I think, probably out of a magazine. I think I cut it out of a magazine. Um, Jack-o'-lantern sticker. More club scrap. This is like game pieces. This is that rubbery type strange card stack again. This is... Just a scrap piece of paper on the back of something. I guess it would call we would call it ephemera because it's just I collect ephemera from all different places. So it's not even necessarily scrapbook paper. And here's some florals. Here's the top of a greeting card from my husband's and my wedding. I just take off the top. Um, I might be able to use this in 
or pieces of this in the page that I'm currently working on, even though it's not a wedding page. And here's a brown frame. So basically what I do is I go through everything and there's a border, dotted border strip. Don't know where that came from. This is from um, that other piece too. This one is from Once Upon a Family. Um, I use a lot of their albums. This was a kit that was for the kids to do like a memory activities um, with character qualities. And we used some of them over the years. And then my kids outgrew them. They just, we, we didn't use them all. And so what I ended up doing was cutting them apart and just like this can be used for scrapbooking and little things. I'll probably just cut out of that to use. And that's just a ice skates. And this is some corrugated paper or cardstock. This is a scrap of a sticker. So I can punch stuff out of. Here's some more of that. Um, Lucky outs we have each other. This is also from that Once Upon a Family. Here's some very old frames from Paperabilities that no longer is around. 15 die cut frames and mirrors. Um, here's a card. Some more animal print, zebra print. Um, a thing that says home. Here's a scallop border with black dots. I might be able to use that on my page. There's some go-go boots. Um, a great job sticker. Some more scrap paper. More scrap paper. As you can see, a lot of these, like, these are, like, 70s maybe things when I was a very little girl. Here's a diploma with an apple sticker and then this is like a Halloween tag this is just like a journaling box I might be able to use that on the page I'm currently working on here's some houses scrap paper some flowers scrap paper a maple leaf Halloween border brown scrap Here's a stamp of a corn cob and a and a jug or something that I never even colored in yet. Some brown cardstock. This is from Creative Memories. These are squirrels and acorns. Here's a limo sticker. Here's a bat. So I try to find theme things that are like that kind of go together like this color is more like fall so you'll see a lot of fall stickers in here fall colors like there's a little vampire um here's a little tag that says love i might be able to use that this is from felicity jane i know that i might be able to use that too another scrap so basically when I'm doing this, I just kind of sort through when I'm making my page. And I try to find things that, like this little pocket watch, that might work for the page. These dancing feet might work, I don't know. Um, this might work, but I'm not sure if it'll work for sure. Um, here's a frame, that might work. Piece of a frame graduate and just another border as you can see I don't even throw away the small little tiny tiny, tiny pieces because practice makes awesome sticker wedding day today I married my best friend monkey see monkey do this is Felicity Jane branding strip stars this is just a border. Kind of like that might work. Growing older is mandatory sticker. It's just a clear sticker sheet. And there's this. Creative memories paper. 
It's an animal print. Here's a scrap of some Creative Memories paper. Here is, um, this is just like a page tag that came out of a magazine. I think it came out of, what is it? Um, Daphne's Diary. It's a magazine. And I think these were stickers or page flips or something that was a freebie in there. This is cardstock. This I know is from Club Scrap. More animal print. More tag scraps. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff. This says Hark the Herald Angels Sing. This is a Tim Holtz from a Tim Holtz paper pad. This is a gold hexagon, a bingo scrap somewhere. What else do we've got? We've got a bird. I kind of like that. I don't think it's going to fit in with my page though. Gray, definitely. There are grays in my page. Joy, always love, honor, cherish, joy. Um, That might work for the page that I'm currently working on. Um, this is a deck of cards, and it's actually from a book that I took apart that was actually a, had a lot of ephemera in it that it was made to cut apart. I think it was called, like, Cut Up This Book or something like that. There's a little heart. I don't think that's going to work, but... We'll try it because it might work. That was just a Christmas tag. Here's a black dotted cardstock sticker. Another black dotted. Hats off to the grad. More creative memory scraps. Another scrap. This is a scrap from a paper pad. A star sticker or tag sticker. See the light. That's another sticker a snowball this is a calendar a Downton Abbey calendar that I got and it was from 2016 so of course it's done but I watched Downton Abbey from beginning to end and love that series I could probably watch it again and again <laughs> someday I want to own the collection but this is the bells and I wanted to do a page on Downton Abbey and so the color scheme was right with this with this kit that I put together. So I stuck this in here. So I remembered to do a Downton Abbey page. And I think I have a picture of me and my t-shirt. My Downton Abbey t-shirt that I can put with it. We don't remember. We do not remember days. We remember moments. This I might put in my um, the page I'm working on. This is another gray box I might put in the page I'm currently working on. Graduation hat, another thing, wedding day sticker, a starfish, a bat, this kind of scrolly thing I cut off a greeting card. I might be able to use that. Here's some wedding silverware stickers. This is... I think is a meteor, to be totally honest, and a music note. Oh, I might be able to use a music note for that page. Another music note. Oh, cool. Might be able to use that on the page. This just says congratulations. Sticker. This says felicity, delight, serenity, wistful, serendipity, dream, forget piece of cardstock. This is that, um, I don't even know what kind of paper, what it's called anymore. Like fiber paper. But you could wet it and then shred it. It's really, shred the edges. I don't even remember what it's called. That's terrible. I've been scrapbooking for so many years and generally I remember a lot, but you can't remember everything, right? This is a little thing. Um, this was a stamp. I stamped it, and then I punched it, and then I inked it. And I might be able to use that on my thing. That's just a scrap. Here's a football. 
Here's a dog print or animal print. That's Felicity Jane. I know that. Here's some little tags that I cut out of book pages. Another one of those. Here's a epoxy sticker that says home. This is a scrap that I obviously cut out a scallop circle out of. Here's some more book pages that don't, or dictionary pages actually, that I just stuck in here to use. Here's another one of those arrows. Here is some more stickers. Looks like wedding stickers. Here's a fall thing. This says wanted. Another scrap. Here's some seashell sticker border. This came out of the cut. Um, cut apart ephemera. Dear pen pal, we Americans are rude to people we know intimately. <laughs> kind of funny and the side says dear pen pal here in america some friends are silver and silver and some friends are gold so this was just um something i may or may not use and then some brown cardstock so that's it that is completely it oh and there was a little pink thing that i might use on the page that i'm currently working on okay so i think i'm going to end this video here and then start the next video on the page that I'm currently working on because it's already 31 minutes long. So I hope you'll join me for the page that I'm currently working on. I guess I could show you a picture of it, the start of it, because I've kind of kept it hidden. But this is it. It's a picture of me and my high school boyfriend and a ball that we went to at our high school. So, it looks like there's a little chipboard star. So this is how I started the page. This striped pink and gray paper is from Creative Memories. And it was just part of the kit. I just went through and tried to find one that matched my dress and he's wearing a gray tie. And then, um, and this picture, I was a junior. In 1985 I was a junior so so and then I took these butterflies I cut apart from um, that new paper from the hip kit club in February and then these flowers are the ones that I cut apart from that old um, me and my big ideas paper so and then this um, branding strip is from underneath is from the new hip kit paper too and then the back um, matting on these is that um um club scrap paper really old club club scrap paper so i'm gonna end it here and then i will start up again and you can watch me finish putting this page together using basically just this i'm not gonna get anything else out of my stash except maybe letter stickers maybe even not i don't know We'll have to see. So I hope you'll join me back here. See you soon. Keep on scrapbooking.